because you can actually check for two or more messages at the same time that trigger the same function. So for example, let's say that you want to not only check when the user pressed the button down, the L button, the, the click down, but also you want to check when he lets go of the mouse. So those are two different messages. I can check them both and both of them trigger the same um, function. So uh, in here in the list, you can see that the message 201 is left button down and the 202 is left button up. So this one is whenever you click, this one is whenever you actually let go of the mouse. This in here is whenever you move the mouse. <laughs> yes, all of those things are notified to the to the main window and you you know you have a lot of very interesting messages when you cut when you copy paste when you hit undo a lot of things that you might find very interesting like when somebody presses a hot key or something no so um let's go ahead and do a little thing with this first of all if the message equals to a one you have clicked and then else, let's put it if message equals 202. Actually, let's do it like this just in case. Then we're going to say, no, let's use a tooltip in this case because if not, it is not going to work because of the message box thing. So you are, you pressed the left button and then let's do you let go of go of the left button i don't know you let go of you let go yeah yeah leave it like that it doesn't matter how it is english is not my first language as you have noticed yeah so basically let's put it like this yeah and let's run it so basically when i click i get the first message and when I let it go, I get the second message. So those are two different messages that I'm checking with the on message function. Both of them are triggering the same function. And I use this particular parameter, which is the third parameter, to check which of the messages is the one that actually triggered the function at that particular moment. This one in here uh, tells you the HWND of the control that actually triggered the function. That is more advanced. Maybe later on I will show some examples, but not today. Today is just mm, main info about it. So um, let's go and take a look at these two little guys in here. So if we go to MSDN, in the meantime, while this loads, this little program is very good because as I mentioned, it allows you to track all the messages that you can get, but it allow you it allows you to actually filter the messages. So you click in here and edit filter messages, and you can tell at the moment nothing is filtered. You can say filter all, and then you can grab a specific um, message that you want to check. So, for example, the yeah button down or something look there's a message for double clicking when the application loses the focus there's a lot of messages that are very <laughs> interesting so you can put one that you want to check and then oh yeah those i do not need so uh, you can hide specific messages as you saw right click the first option says hi hide and then after that in this case in here is only going to react when I click. You remember that the last time whenever I moved the mouse inside the window or something, this was going crazy with a lot of messages. In this case, as I filtered everything down, I can just monitor that particular message. This is very, very um, uh, useful in a lot of situations. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that this little program is good enough for this particular topic. Now, um, MSDN, DN, let's go for WM, L button down. And they give me this message. So I usually go to MSDN to 
to look for for these messages whenever I'm working with them, not only because they give me the information that I need for the, the value from them, but it also provides me with the W param and the L param. Whenever that message is being sent, there's some information being sent along with that particular message to the operating system. So the W param, which is the one that I mentioned before here in, in, in the script that I just created, the W param, again, you can name this however you want, but when the first parameter is going to refer to this W param in here. And the W param contains information about which other which key is down for example if you control clicked um the w param is going to contain is going to contain 9 why is going to contain 9 because the it is a it is a combination of this uh, information so for example if you have the control key down it is going to have 8 and then if you click which is the left button then it is going to be 1 and then this is kind of like uh, zoomed up into one number it is going to show you nine even though it, but that nine is actually telling you a lot of information it's telling you that the control key is down and that the l button is down so from the l param you can get additional information for example if the shift is down if the right mouse was clicked and not the left click um if additional buttons from those mouse that have like five buttons if additional buttons are pressed and so on the L param contains actually a, a D word um, that um, a D word is a kind of a of a variable in C plus plus, and the first the low order of the of that particular word contains the X coordinate, and the high order contains the Y coordinate. So basically, the L param contains the location of the mouse, so where you clicked it, where you clicked is contained in the L param. If you if your program if whatever your programming uh, needs to be to know where the mouse was positioned when you clicked and believe me some things need that um, then this is where to look for it. Now one little information the um, um, not all the messages use the W param and the L param. Sometimes those are empty sometimes those are not used and sometimes the 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 um, the message itself returns some information that I think the the on message functions return it as well. So those are very complex things that we can take a look at later on when I make uh, specific examples with them. But today I just went on with the main information about the on message. You know how it works. You know what a message is. And now you're familiarized with the W param and the L param. Now you know how to build these functions. Basically, again, you do not need to put those parameters if what you're doing is does not need to know where the mouse is located or anything like that. But in general, yeah. Oh, one thing. So if you need the, only the message information, you do not need the handle, for example. But you need the message. You cannot leave this too empty. You cannot just simply do this, for example. You cannot do that because that would actually contain the W param. So for getting the message, you have to put the other two parameters, even though you're not going to use them. And then just get that one in here. So with this, I'm going to be finishing this particular lesson. I hope that this clarified some of the of the misunderstandings that have been with the on message function and the fears. And later on, uh, along the road, I'm going to be showing more and more examples with the DLL call and the on message that you can do very cool stuff with them. So thanks for watching, guys, and we're going to be seeing each other in the next video.